My name is Maria Padeva Bright. I'm the director of the African Legal Information Institute, African Lee. We work on making access to core legal materials open and free in Africa through creating and supporting National Legal Information Institutes, or LRIs. Let me describe the basic problem we are addressing. The need for lease in parts of Africa was and continues to be urgent. In fact, the lees are a response to an outright scandal. In Africa, basic legal materials necessary to conduct business, protect rights, study the law, etc. are largely unavailable. For instance, very few court decisions, even from the highest courts, are published at all. Those that are published tend to be in hard copy. Some libraries have copies, but they're hard to reach, especially for practitioners and judges outside the capital cities. And you can buy so-called law reports, but they're hugely costly. Even the case decisions that you can get your hands on are often significantly out of date, sometimes by many years, which means that it's extremely difficult for lawyers or judges to confirm that the cases are still good law. The situation is even worse for statutory materials. In most places, these are out of date, sometimes by decades, so that if you use them, you can never know if they're still relevant. Altogether, this makes the law and its practice fundamentally flawed in, and uncertain in many African countries. It's a basic impediment to securing the rule of law on the continent. And that's the problem. African Lee is providing a solution through a comprehensive program that offers governments and organizations in 12 African countries a way to get current law out to citizens and practitioners for free and with easy access. Here is something of what we do. We host Lee websites, we develop and support open source legal information hosting software, which makes it easy for anyone to set up and operate an LOI in Africa. We help new leads with training and advice. We develop innovative ways of distributing public legal information in Africa, such as Pocket Law, the Freedom Toaster for Law, and mobile applications. We implement global standards for legal data. For example, our Indigo legislation platform helps us convert African legislation to future-proof, open format, a common TOSO XML. In a word, our work is geared towards creating a solid base for the development of the lease in each country. In addition, we advocate for and use open source technology and open content licenses in ours and in our partners' work. These measures have helped African lease make the law more understandable and useful to citizens. However, our biggest challenge remains ensuring the sustainability of operations, our own as African Lee and that of the national lease that we support. With dwindling donor funding, diversification income is becoming a priority goal. There are strategies to, to achieve financial independence from lease, and they will vary from country to country. But what we've learned is that we need a mix of donor funding, voluntary contributions from users, business activities, and sometimes help from government. I'm particularly interested in working with others to develop a non-profit business model for the lease in Africa. I believe that there is enough value in the data that we produce to allow us to sustain the open and free nature of our services. For example, Earned income from website monetization activities will become a viable business option as ICTs and internet on the, on the continent grows and as our respective services develop. Mining our data to provide bespoke information services to international and African businesses is one way of monetizing our data. Offering bulk access via API to our data for others to create apps and services is another option. Advertising income generated from the sale of ad space to local and regional law firms is an option that can also be explored. These are just a few, a few ideas I have around sustaining open access to the law in Africa. The ideas need investment, both in the continued operation and growth of open access legal databases and in the business models that would allow them to serve generations of African and international users. I'd like to invite the Shuttleworth Foundation to invest in me and this work and thereby in the future of African law.